The long wait is over. Tesla Model 2 is finally here, and its minimal interior is changing everything. No buttons, no cluster, no clutter, just pure focus. But behind this shocking simplicity lies something bigger. Elon Musk's plan to merge cars with free Starlink connectivity. Is this genius minimalism or a risky experiment in mass market EVS? The answer might redefine smart forever. Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk unveiled the Tesla Model 2, the world expected an affordable car. What no one expected was a declaration of war against everything we thought we knew about how cars should feel, look, and even connect. The shock begins not with the price, but with the silence inside. A silence that tells a story louder than any engine ever could. There are no buttons, no gauges, no traditional dashboard. Just one flat display in the center. A glowing rectangle that controls every aspect of the car. At first, it feels almost wrong. How can something so empty feel so complete? But this is exactly what Musk wants. The Model 2 isn't designed to impress your eyes. It's designed to retrain your instincts. Every movement inside the car, from turning on the AC to switching gears, happens within a single zone. It's faster, cleaner, and strangely intuitive. Tesla's engineers call this philosophy zero-waste interaction. Every second you save by not searching for a button adds up. Every distraction removed means more focus on the road. This isn't minimalism for style. It's minimalism for survival. And yet, buried within this simplicity is something far more ambitious. A connection that reaches beyond Earth itself. Because for the first time, a Tesla is born with Starlink inside. The phrase free Starlink sounds like marketing at first. But it's not what you think. This isn't Netflix in the desert. It's not a full-speed satellite internet plan. It's a lifeline. A backup channel that quietly takes over when your phone signal dies. You might not notice it working, but that's the point. Tesla's goal is for the connection never to drop, no matter where you are. Even if you're driving through mountain passes or remote plains. Think about that for a moment. Millions of cars, each linked directly to space, constantly sending and receiving data, updating routes, and staying online without a single cell tower. Musk isn't just selling vehicles. He's quietly building a distributed network of mobile terminals, a living, breathing extension of Starlink itself. Each Model 2 on the road strengthens the grid. Each trip expands the coverage. What looks like a car rollout might actually be the largest satellite deployment strategy ever executed through consumer hardware. And that's where the genius hides. The $11,795 price tag isn't a financial miracle. It's a Trojan horse. Tesla isn't cutting profit to sell cars. It's investing in reach. Every buyer becomes part of an infrastructure expansion that no traditional telecom company could replicate. Step back for a moment, and you begin to see the pattern. The minimalist interior and the satellite layer are not separate ideas. They are two halves of the same vision. Remove physical clutter, replace it with digital intelligence, and make the machine self-sustaining anywhere on the planet. Inside, every detail follows this logic. The gear selector isn't a lever, it's a swipe. But Tesla still keeps a hidden backup button array, because even minimalism must respect the human reflex. The air vents are invisible, yet airflow can be dragged with your finger on the screen, precise down to a degree. The materials are simple, but chosen for longevity. Soft polymers that resist oil and dust. Fabric that wipes clean in seconds. You start to realize, Tesla didn't design this car to impress luxury buyers. 
It built it for the long-term evolution of technology itself. The Model 2's cabin isn't a downgrade. It's a test bed. The bridge between today's car and tomorrow's device. Once you drive it, the simplicity no longer feels empty. It feels inevitable. And that inevitability extends beyond comfort. Starlink integration changes the entire experience of travel. You can lose cellular signal, drive through a rural canyon, or cross a border. And your car will still talk to Tesla's cloud, still track diagnostics, still respond to your app. It's not glamorous, but it's revolutionary. This dual-channel system, cellular first, satellite as backup, guarantees that software updates never fail and navigation never drops. In regions with no coverage, emergency messages and vehicle status still go through. For Tesla, this reliability is a gold mine of data. Every route, every trip, every second online becomes part of a larger network brain. One that teaches Tesla's AI about the world's roads, weather, and real-time conditions. What most people see as just connectivity is actually infrastructure intelligence. The Model 2 isn't simply connected to space, it's contributing to it. Still, the move is not without controversy. Critics argue that over-reliance on Starlink risks user privacy and technical control. But Musk's answer has always been the same. Innovation moves faster than fear. And if history proves anything, he thrives on skepticism. The more people question Tesla's choices, the faster he doubles down. Because beneath every bold headline, there's a pattern. Musk plays the long game. Selling a near $12,000 EV with advanced features looks insane for short-term profit. But viewed through the lens of ecosystem expansion, it's genius. Tesla doesn't earn from each sale. It earns from every connection. Once millions of Model 2s are online, the brand becomes something far greater than an automaker. It becomes a planetary communication system disguised as a car company. That's why the Model 2's interior had to be minimal. Not to cut corners, but to anchor attention. By stripping away physical excess, Tesla draws focus to the invisible, the network. Musk's true product isn't the dashboard. It's the connection between the driver, the machine, and the orbit above. What's fascinating is how this simplicity feels futuristic yet strangely familiar. In the early days of smartphones, people resisted losing keyboards. They said touch screens were impractical, emotionless, fragile. And yet today, you'd struggle to find a physical button on any modern device. The same psychological shift is happening again. Only this time, it's inside your car. Tesla's minimalism is not about decoration. It's about reprogramming human behavior. Once you adapt, every other car starts to feel outdated. That's how disruption works. It doesn't just create something new. It makes everything else feel old. And the result? A car that costs less, performs smarter, and communicates even when the world around it goes silent. That's not a design trend. That's a paradigm shift. For decades, automakers have tried to define the people's car. They focused on price, on production, on scale. But Tesla redefined it around connection and control. By merging minimal hardware with Starlink's invisible safety net, Musk is shaping a future where every driver becomes part of a global intelligent system. Whether you love him or question him, one thing is clear. The Tesla Model 2 is not just another electric car. It's a signal, one that tells the world the next chapter of mobility has begun. And it's being written in orbit, not on asphalt. So maybe the real question isn't how cheap Tesla can make a car, but how far Elon Musk can stretch the boundary between technology and trust before the rest of the industry finally realizes 
This was never about cars at all. And this, right here, is exactly why the Tesla Model 2 changes everything. It's not just a cheaper car. It's a signal that the future of mobility has begun. One where vehicles, satellites, and data networks merge into a single living system. By fusing minimal design with Starlink connectivity, Tesla isn't just simplifying cars. It's redefining how humanity stays connected, on Earth and beyond. That's the real takeaway. The Model 2 isn't about what's inside the car, but what it connects us to. And if this vision succeeds, it could reshape how every journey, every update, and every driver interacts with the world around them. So, what do you think? Is this the start of a connected era? Or a risk too bold even for Musk? Let's talk about it in the comments below. If you found this breakdown valuable, like the video, subscribe to Tech Revolution, and turn on notifications so you never miss what's next in space, tech, and the future of human innovation. This is Tech Revolution, where ideas become reality and the future is already unfolding. The long wait is over. Tesla Model 2 is finally here, and its minimal interior is changing everything. No buttons, no cluster, no clutter, just pure focus. But behind this shocking simplicity lies something bigger. Elon Musk's plan to merge cars with free Starlink connectivity. Is this genius minimalism or a risky experiment in mass market EVS? The answer might redefine smart forever. Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk unveiled the Tesla Model 2, the world expected an affordable car. What no one expected was a declaration of war against everything we thought we knew about how cars should feel, look, and even connect. The shock begins not with the price, but with the silence inside. A silence that tells a story louder than any engine ever could. There are no buttons, no gauges, no traditional dashboard. Just one flat display in the center. A glowing rectangle that controls every aspect of the car. At first, it feels almost wrong. How can something so empty feel so complete? But this is exactly what Musk wants. The Model 2 isn't designed to impress your eyes. It's designed to retrain your instincts. Every movement inside the